I'm not even gonna make an intro. Let's just fucking get into this. I'm gonna fucking say my full opinions on the worst song. I don't even gonna wanna call it metal. Because they fucking ruin the song with these vocals. They're so cringe. Just let's just listen. The background music and all, solid. But then the fucking vocals. <laughs> Make me So cringe. So bad. The thing is, this is heavy, and it gets to a heavier point where the growling shit, where like everything sounds good, including the growling part, which is basically a breakdown. But the fucking verses. The fucking verses, oh my god. Oh. Here the big pain comes. I need, I need to get myself cooled down for this. This is the worst part. Is it over yet? Please save me. Please save me. <laughs> this song is total ass. Please save me. Please. Oh, this is so bad in this part. And this song is cool! This part is so cool! But the other fucking... The fucking vocals! Listen! This is perfect! What went wrong? What made them think that sounded good? And I hope that they're not all this bad. Because this fucking breakdown thing sounds amazing. This is fucking cool! These kicks! Very simple, because he's only doing the kicks and a bit of... But it still sounds very cool, because it fits with the song! But those vocals, they don't! Here are some cleans that doesn't sound like complete ass. Like, if I were to uh, re record this song, I would let them, I would fucking just delete. The vocals in the verses. Just delete the verses, everything. Just leave the instrumentals until the growling and this part. Everything but those first cleans fits. And there's a fucking amazing solo too.
pretty damn heavy. And I love this. This sounds amazing. I can't appreciate this song. This is such a joke to me. Because right after this, it returns to the fucking ass. Okay. Like it's overall it's a good song, but those small parts ruin everything. And it's finally over. Did you think it was a good song? I didn't. Overall it's a good song. But as a complete full song, it's not a good song. So, I give that song a 5 out of 10. It's complete ass because of mainly the um, verses. And the verses are so important that pure eyes won't know how important it is to actually have... The verse fixed in the song. It would be so much better if they just removed that verse. Everything about those auto tuned bullshits. Everything else is so good in the song. But that fucking bull, big bullshit, motherfucking auto tune, big bull ass crack. Went into the fucking song and went like, hey, this is super good, let's use this as a feature in the song. I bet it will blow up! And of course the song blows up. Actually, it's not it's not that blown up. It's only 76,000 views, which I, which I understand. Because it's not good of a song. It just, it's it's a song, it's a good song ruined by autotune. This is what... Artists need to realize this is not how to use autotune. You don't use autotune to moan in the fucking microphone. You don't use a uh, microphone to be like, oh yeah! Doesn't sound good in metal. It might sound good if you go like in trap music with autotune, but that doesn't work for metal. There is a thing called metal. It does not deserve having, I mean, autotune because it ruins its reputation of a genre. It ruins the purity of the song. Like hell, if they just backed off the autotune on that bitch and sung in pitches that wasn't... <laughs> It would have sounded so much greater. So much greater. I would appreciate this as a song if that was the case. But no. Persephone, I don't know what the fuck you went for when you did this song, but it sure wasn't success. So, there you go. There's my full opinion on Persephone Living Waves.